Hello there. Welcome to episode 4 of the Agile Methodology Tutorials for Beginner series. If you have not checked out the earlier episodes yet, please use the links in the description box to check it out before you watch this episode. Story so far. Jane wanted a home delivery mobile app for her restaurant Vegan Gardens. Jane works with Webweave, an app development company, to get this app developed using Agile methodology. High-level requirements were gathered. Requirements were prioritized for MVP, that is Minimum Viable Product, and the Scrum team was onboarded and all the required tech tools and environment setups were done as a part of Sprint Zero. Now we continue the story with Sprint 1. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already and also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when the next episodes are posted. Sprint 1 is when the actual development work begins. Each sprint in Agile Scrum consists of the below 5 events or ceremonies. Sprint Refinement, Sprint Planning, Daily Scrum, Sprint Demo, and sprint retrospective. We will go over these events one by one covering what happens during each of them. This slide should give you a visual representation of when each of these events will happen during the sprint. As we discussed earlier, sprint is a two weeks time box excluding the weekends. A regular sprint typically consists of 10 working days as you see in the slide. The schedule goes as follows. Sprint planning happens on the first day of the sprint. Daily scrum happens on a daily basis. Sprint refinement which we touched upon in the previous episode happens during the second week of the sprint. Sprint demo and sprint retrospective happens on the last day of the sprint. We will go over each of these events one by one covering what happens during each of them in the upcoming slides. Stay tuned. Let's start off with the first event, Sprint Planning. Before we deep dive, I just want to take you back to the previous episode where story refinement was done as part of Sprint Zero and user stories related to registration, login and user browse by categories were refined. Alex and Phil did a story walkthrough and the team asked questions Clarifications were provided and further details were also added to the user stories. Now let's come back to sprint planning. Let's start off with purpose. The purpose of sprint planning is to craft the sprint goal and draft a plan to achieve it. Attendees, PO, the product owner, scrum team and the scrum master. This event would be set up by the scrum master. The input for this event is the refined stories of the product backlog which we just discussed. The stories refined in Sprint Zero would be picked up for the planning. These stories are again brought into team's focus. Alex provides the business context and Phil walks through the details in the user story and requests for the Scrum team to provide the estimated story points for completion of the user story. Story points in Agile are in Fibonacci series 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. And for a story, maximum story points would be 13. If it is more than 13, then the story should be broken down into two series. You may ask, what is a story point? Is it mandates or hours? Well, no, one story point is a smallest unit of work taken by the team to complete a task and it varies from one scrum team to another. The estimation happens using a planning poker game. As soon as the product owner walks through the stories, each of the scrum team member will estimate and have the card ready and once everyone is ready, they reveal their estimated story points and the team discuss and agree to a common estimate. Once the refined stories are estimated, the team discusses on how much they can commit for the two-week sprint. The combined story point is called velocity and this becomes one of the parameters for next sprint planning. 
The team then divides the stories and assigns them to each team member and they begin to work. The estimation happens using a planning poker game. As soon as the PO and BA walk through the story, each team member will estimate and have the card ready. Once everyone has estimated, they will reveal the story points they have estimated and the team will discuss and agree on a common estimate. In our story, once Alex and Phil completed the walkthrough for registration, the team started estimating. As you can see, the estimates provided varied from 5 to 13. Now the team will discuss among themselves and come to a common agreement on the story points. Kate informs that there are lots of devices on which she needs to test and hence better go with 13 and the team agrees to that. The process was repeated for the remaining two stories in which Jim the Scrum Master asked the team if they were okay with the delivery of those stories during the sprint and the team responded positively. The cumulative story points 34 is known as velocity and it will be used to plan the next sprint with the team agreeing to take more or less depending on their experience. Each developer assigned one task in their name and the required subtasks for design, development, testing, documentation would be created for each story and the team gets to work on it. This concludes the sprint planning event. Let's move on to the next event, Daily Scrum. The Scrum Master organizes the Daily Scrum which takes place every morning. It is a short 15 to 30 minutes event. The goal of this event is to assist progress towards the sprint goal and to address any blockers or impediments. Attendees are Scrum Master, Scrum Team and PO is optional. In each of the daily scrum, each scrum team talks about the three points. What they did yesterday. What is the plan for today. Impediments if any. Everyone provided the updates and informed that they were not facing any impediments except Ron who was having an issue with the technical aspect of the story for creating the browse functionality. Jim made a note of this and once everybody was done with their updates, Jim, Ron and Tom, the solution architect, discussed the issue in detail for resolution. The same process was repeated on a daily basis for the entire sprint duration. Let's move towards the next event which is the sprint refinement. This is similar to what was done in sprint zero. Alex and Phil provided walkthrough of the next set of stories from the product backlog to the team. The team asked questions and requested for additional details to be included in the stories and Alex and Phil provided further clarity on business and functional requirements and Phil made the required updates to the user's stories. These stories would be picked up for the next sprint. This event happens in the second week of the sprint but can be done earlier as well. Again, this will vary from team to team. Let's move on to the next event which is the sprint review. The team continued to develop and test the committed user stories. Sprint review happens on the last day of the sprint. The purpose of the sprint demo is to showcase the product increment which the team would have completed in the sprint. Attendees of this event were PO, Scrum Team, Scrum Master and additionally Jane and her team from Vegan Gardens. What happened? Alex the PO kick-started the session and conveyed what was completed in that sprint and Kate the tester in the team gave a demo of the developed functionality for registration, login and browse features to the audience. Jane and team were quite happy with the progress and the mobile app screens. One suggestion she made was that the font to be modified and that it be in line with the restaurant's website. Phil made a note of this feedback and locked a user story to be picked up for correction during the next sprint. Let's move on to the last event, Sprint Retrospective. 
This is the last sprint event and happens post the sprint demo. Purpose is to identify areas of continuous improvement. Again, attendees are Scrum team, product owner and the Scrum master. The listed three questions would be asked and the team members can provide their feedbacks. What went well? What did not go well? And what can be improved? The sprint demo, feedback, impediments and estimates can be discussed and the team can work on corrective actions in the upcoming sprints. This concludes sprint 1 and the same would be repeated in each of the sprint. In the next concluding episode of this series, we will see the process of taking the developed product to the customers. Thank you.